freaking insane does that sound? Alright guys, here we are, Supercar Blondie, what's up? We have a brand new Audi R8 for you to see today. <laughs> to be an older model Audi right here in the car park so this is kind of a good opportunity for us to be able to see the progression this color is called Kimura gray you may think it's Nardo gray but it's not actually it has kind of a blue tinge to it and that is a brand new color for the Audi R rates we've got updated air intake so they're just a little bit bigger here on the front all right and then as you come around the side this car that we're looking at, guys, has a lot of optional extras. So you've got to pay more for certain things on this car. 19 inch wheels come standard on the Audi R8. This is actually 20 inch. So you've got 20 inch here, 20 inch here. You've got bigger air vents as well here on the back. The rear diffuser is kind of moved up slightly in the back as well. And you've got these, ex like, look how massive these exhausts are. <laughs> I mean, the comparison, it's, it's huge, really. Which one would you rather have? You've got this wing here now. So this is actually fixed. This does not move. This will always be shown in this position. Another optional extra on this car, which I really like, is this high gloss black finish on the Audi badges. Usually that comes in silver. Here, this is what she's all about. This is a naturally aspirated V10, you guys, pumping out over 600 horsepower, 610 horsepower, and top speed 330 kilometers an hour. Now, the special thing about this car is, it has the same engine as you get in the Lamborghini Huracan. So the difference with this is it costs about $50,000 less than what you'd pay for a Lamborghini Huracan. As you can see, one of the main differences between this updated Audi and an older version of the R8 is you've now got this carbon fiber panel here, which is split. So you've got a little bit here, a little bit here, whereas on the older version, it runs all the way down. Back in 2007, they launched the first ever Audi R8, Audi's first ever supercar, okay? And personally, I was like dreaming of owning an R8 one day. That was my car. I thought it looked super freaking cool. 14 years later, the design just hasn't changed that significantly. So I've kind of lost my love affair with the R8 a little bit. Like, let's make it into something freaking awesome. Let's add some more drama. Let's just completely overhaul the thing because the bones of this car is freaking insanely amazing. And I'll tell you something else. Here's the interior. Look how comfortable this interior is, you guys. It is like, look at the plush leather. It is just such an everyday kind of drive inside. Like this is what you would find in some of your everyday Audi drivers. When you drive a Lamborghini Huracan for a length of time, your ears start to bleed because it is so loud here in the cabin in the driver's seat, which is a great experience, but you do not want to take it on long trips. This, you get the same gurgles and pops, but there's more insulation from that sound here in the cabin. So it's not quite as like ear bleed inducing. So let's hear it, because this is the really great part, you guys. Ready for this? Start stop button here on the wheel. Just 
super comfy, you guys. This is literally a supercar you could drive every day. I'm not kidding. Like, if you wanted to fork out $170,000, that's the starting price for this, then you could literally get amazing use out of it because you could take it to work and back every day. Right, ready? Ah, freaking hell! Wow! That is everything you want to feel. <laughs> this is a great car. This is a great car. And I do not deny anything about that except for the design. I want a complete overhaul. That's what I want to see because the bones of this car, the feel, the sound, the comfort, everything about it is so brilliant. Top speed, 330 kilometers an hour, you guys. Now what's also interesting is here, screen nothing no screen which is really unusual in a new supercar you would have some kind of screen here now I was going well how are you meant to control the rate even just the radio right you turn that on here but it's only here in your screen here like tiny little screen on the left and that's where you're meant to do everything from but if your passenger wants to change the radio station They'd have to literally lean over like this in front of you to see what was going on. So I find that a little bit strange. Hi guys, another cool little feature. We've got integrated speakers here in your headrest. That's pretty cool. Bang & Olufsen surround sound. And that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you liked this very quick overview of the 2020 R8 Performance Quattro. Give us a quick like, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you on the next vid. Love you guys. We're out.